Hunmin Son has stated he is going to the World Cup in Qatar. Jamie Carragher has come out and said that Hugo Lloris is not good enough to play for Spurs. Assistant coach Delini has said that Antonio Conte is still happy at Spurs and the predicted lineup for tonight's game against Forest. Keeping well, this is another edition of Tottenham News where I'll be going through all of the latest Spurs news, rumours, and reports. If you're watching this on YouTube, please do hit that subscribe button, like, and share, and comment below. And if you're listening to this on an audio platform, please do hit that follow button and leave a review if you can. So, first up, a predicted lineup from Football.London. They are stating that Fraser Forster will start in goal for Tottenham Hotspur tonight against Nottingham Forest in the Carabao Cup at the City Ground, 7 45 pm kickoff. They are going with a 3 5 2. They think Antonio Conte's starting 11 will be as follows Forster in goal, the back three of Sanchez, Dyer, and Davis, the wing backs, Matt Doherty and Ryan Sessignon, and then in midfield, Oliver Skip, Yves Basuma, and Pierre Mihoibier and then the forward two of Harry Kane and Ivan Perisic. Former Premier League star, now TV pundit with Sky Sports, Jamie Carragher has come out and said that Tottenham Hotspur goalkeeper and captain Hugo Lloris is not good enough to play for Spurs. He said, I've thought this for years, I know he's a World Cup winner, but the goalkeeper is not good enough. In terms of getting Tottenham to really challenge, he is not good enough. I don't have a name for you, but when you look at Manchester City when they brought in Edison and Liverpool when they brought in Alisson, Hugo Lloris makes too many mistakes and I think Antonio Conte needs a top centre-back and a top goalkeeper. Sky Sports journalist Michael Bridge has been talking about Tottenham Hotspur right-back Jed Spence and said if Spurs made him available for loan, they would loan him out tomorrow. You would have five to six Premier League clubs that would want him. He wouldn't want to go back to the Championship. Many congratulations to Ivan Perisic. He has just been named in the Croatia squad that will go to the World Cup in just under two weeks' time. Hunmin Son will also be going to the World Cup. What great news for him. He has just written the following on Instagram, providing the following update. Hi, everyone. I just wanted to take a moment to say thank you for all of your messages of support I have received over the last week. I have read so many of them and truly, truly appreciate you all. In a tough time, I received a lot of strength from you. Playing for your country at the World Cup is a dream of so many children growing up, just as it was one of mine too. I won't miss this for the world and I cannot wait to represent our beautiful country. See you soon, Sonny. Tottenham Hotspur assistant coach Christian Stellini had his press conference ahead of the Nottingham Forest game um, at the City Ground on Wednesday evening. He is stating that Antonio Conte is still happy at Tottenham Hotspur Football Club. He said it's an unfair suggestion to label him as a short-term coach. He pushes himself at a level so high in his work. He is so passionate. At every club, he has taken the club in one position and he increases the level every time. Stellini then went on to say, now we're working well, the team increases, all of the players improve themselves and we are happy. There is no problem, we are happy to be here and we feel good. So my thoughts on these stories in this episode, let's start by talking about the predicted 11 for tonight's game against Nottingham Forest. Personally, I am hoping that Antonio Conte goes extremely strong in this competition, including this game. Four wins, we will be in the final. It is now 14 and a half years since Tottenham Hotspur won a trophy. It is far too long, 14 and a half years. Think what you were doing 14 and a half years ago. You know, life was very, very different. It is far too long, uh, you know, a club like Tottenham Hotspur, you know, you've got to remember as well, players like Hugo Lloris, Harry Kane, Hunmin Son, they have not won trophies at the club um, in all of the time that they have been there. Um, so they deserve trophies. Uh, all of us fans deserve trophies. There is nothing more than I want to see than that bus parading down the high road 
seeing these players lifting a trophy. So I'm hoping uh, personally that Antonio Conte goes strong and particularly as well that we've only got this this game and the Leeds game on Saturday before the World Cup. Uh, you know, play these players uh, before the World Cup and hopefully we can get two wins. We've got a good squad. We've got more than enough uh, quality uh, to beat Nottingham Forest and Leeds in these next two matches. Now, Michael Bridge, uh, of course, of Sky Sports, has been on the channel before um, talking about uh, Jed Spence. Um, I personally wouldn't be at all surprised um, if Jed Spence doesn't feature in any way, shape or form in this evening's game against Forest. I wouldn't be at all surprised if Antonio Conte and Spurs send him out on loan in the January transfer window because the guy needs game time. Although Spurs say that, uh, or Antonio Conte and Stellini have said uh, that he needs time to develop, um, he certainly needs game time as well. He's not featuring in the Tottenham Hotspur under 21s development squad side at the moment, so he's not getting any game time whatsoever. So if Spurs don't want to use him in the second part of the season, then send him out on loan and let him gain some experience in the Premier League. Now, we heard many times from Antonio Conte, and now, of course, from his assistant Stellini, stating that Antonio Conte is happy at the club. Um, there is, you know, apart from winning a trophy and having the, the team parade down the high road, lifting a trophy, I also want to see Antonio Conte sign a new contract and hear uh, that he has signed a new contract. Um, you know, he has taken this club from Europa Conference League football, um, you know, last year to Champions League football. Of course, we won the group. Yes, the football hasn't been highly entertaining this season but the results have been fairly decent. We're sitting in the top four in the Premier League and we are through to the last 16 of the Champions League. Antonio Conte will continue to improve the club week by week, month by month and year by year if he is here and hopefully he will sign a new deal and uh, Antonio Conte can make this uh, club successful. Now, the comments from Jamie Carragher um, stating that Hugo Lloris is not good enough uh, to play for Spurs anymore and Tottenham Hotspur also need a centre-back. Well, of course, Antonio Conte has said many times this is a process. It will take time and patience. Of course, um, if Conte is still Tottenham Hotspur manager going forward, um, then I have absolutely no doubt he will bring in a top goalkeeper and bring in other top additions uh, that will walk into the Tottenham Hotspur starting eleven, and of course will improve the bench as well. Um, of course the um, goalkeeping situation will need to be resolved at some point in the near future because Lloris signed a two-year extension. Uh, this season and next season, so his contract now ends in the summer of 2024. So that um, you know that that will need to be addressed at some point in the near future, perhaps even this summer, this summer window. Um, but lots of improvements still to make, and if Antonio Conte is allowed uh, to make these improvements and is fully backed, as I've said on this channel many many times, he will make this club successful again, i.e., winning trophies. Thanks for watching and thanks for listening. If you're watching this on YouTube, please do hit that subscribe button, like, share and comment below. And if you're listening to this on an audio platform, please do hit that follow button and leave a review if you can. Enjoy tonight's game and come on you Spurs.